What's up everyone, this is episode two on Will's Wednesday workout. And last week we did chest, uh, we did three exercises with four sets each. Today we're gonna do back. Um, and instead of three exercises, we're gonna do four exercises with three sets each. And each set, remember, we're gonna go to complete failure. And what that's gonna do is pretty much prevent being here for an hour and a half to two hours. So you just wanna get in and get out. So we're only gonna do 12 sets in the whole back workout. And by the end of it, you should feel pretty exhausted. And for your warm-up, you want to make sure you're warming up for about 5 to 10 minutes on any cardio machine. Um, I prefer the elliptical. Um, I'm not going to show you that just because, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You really can't mess that up. But um, I'm going to start my workout today with pull-ups. Um, and again, I'm, for this, I'm not going to really go for how many reps, but I'm just going to go till complete failure for all four sets. Um, so here it goes. For all those people who can't quite do a pull-up yet, um, your gym should have an assisted pull-up machine. Um, th that's one of those machines. It really does the exact same thing, but you can take some weight off yourself to make yourself lighter. Um, so just do the exact same thing and start from that. That's it. And when you're doing back, it's very easy to almost not feel it in your back and pretty much mainly feel it in your biceps and in your forearms. And there's a few simple tricks that I like to use to kind of prevent that from happening. One is don't wrap your thumbs around the bar of whatever you're grabbing. So kind of grip in an angle just like this. So, you know, your thumbs are up and you're not gripping all the way around. And what that's going to do is mainly relax your forearms um, and really target your back. Another trick I like to do to really take the pressure off the forearms and biceps is focus on pulling from my elbows. Um, because if you're going to sit there and do the exercise and pull from your hands, it's your body's natural reaction to always want to use your arms so what you want to do when you're doing any pull exercise is don't even think about your hands but just grip enough to hold on to it and pull from your elbows always think about from your um, elbow to your hand doesn't really exist all you're doing is you're um, picturing in your mind and getting that mind muscle connection of pulling your elbows down or pulling your elbows back in any pull exercise all right so here's set number three to complete failure And notice with each set, I'm getting less and less reps. And that's simply because I'm going to complete failure each and every single time. Um, and what that's doing is simply it's exhausting my muscles. And that's what's going to be have me in here for 30 to 45 minutes instead of an hour and a half. So here's my last set of the pull-ups. So my next exercise for the workout is gonna be a bench dumbbell row. So last week in my chest workout, um, I gave myself a rep range of about six to 10. So today um, I'm gonna switch it up and do about six to 12. And again, if I did 12 reps and I could do more, it means the weight's too light. So add a little bit more weight. And if I can't do six, it's too heavy. So I need to lighten it up. Also, and when you're doing one arm exercise in anything, you want to make sure you do your weaker arm first, um, especially if you're going till complete failure. And the reason why, um, because say if you do your stronger arm first and you go till failure, and say you fail at 12, well, your left arm's weaker, so you're probably going to fail at 10. And you want to make sure you're getting the same exact reps on each arm because nobody wants to grow sideways. And when you're doing the exercise, before you pick up the weight, you want to make sure as you pick it up, now your back is completely straight. You make sure you're not having that arch, you want to straighten out that back and bring the hips back and core in tight, okay? And don't shrug your shoulders as you lift, so bring your shoulders back and down, and when you pull, you're pulling from the elbow. Again, the hands are nice and relaxed, but you're gripping just enough to hold onto it, pull from the elbow, and just pull the elbow up and squeeze in that back muscle. You want to make sure you're getting that mind-muscle connection.
And again, make sure you're getting the exact same reps from your left arm straight to your right arm. All right, so I'm on to the second set. And for my last set, I ended up getting about 12 reps. So I'm gonna stick with the exact same weight and uh, go from there. All right, so my third and final set, I did go up about five pounds just simply because um, I was getting about 10 to 12 reps on each time pretty easily. And like I said, I'm really trying to hit that complete failure on each and every set. So I went up about five pounds, um, hoping I'll fail at a little less reps. All right, for my next exercise, I'm gonna be doing the wide grip rows. And you wanna make sure you're um, definitely getting a variety in your back workout. You can't just do pulls um, and really work your whole back because there's many different parts of your back. You have your lats and, um, and you have your traps, which is actually a part of your back, and your rhomboids, and there's many other very small muscles. So you wanna make sure um, you're not just doing a pull down and you're not just doing um, some sort of row, but you're getting a variety of pull downs, rows, dumbbells, and cables. All right, so on my wide grip row, this is really what's gonna help get you that width of your back, you know, that strong, wide back. So um, you wanna grip as wide as you can, comfortably, and again, stick to that rep range that you um, gave yourself. So for today, remember I gave myself that six to 12. So uh, that's the goal I'm gonna try to stick with. Make sure you have your back completely straight. You wanna bring it all the way to your sternum. All right, so I'm at about my eighth set right now, and uh, my back's really feeling it. I mean, it's pretty much completely exhausted already. Um, so again, bringing yourself to complete failure on each set, that's really what's gonna help you get in and get out. You're not wasting a lot of time. All right, well, for my last and final exercise, I'm gonna do the close grip pull downs. Um, now, we started off with the wide grip pull ups, which is pretty much the same thing as a pull down, and then we went to the single arm dumbbell rows, and then we went to the uh, wide grip dumbbell rows. And just to finish it off, to make sure I'm getting each and every part of my back, I'm gonna um, end the workout with the close grip pull downs. All right, everyone, that's the ending for my back workout for Will's Wednesday workout. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot and uh, give you guys some new ideas to try um, at the gym for yourselves. Um, that's it. So make sure that you subscribe because there is going to be new videos coming out every single week on Wednesdays.